Little crocodile is happily bathing. A woman burst into the bathroom. The woman runs downstairs as fast as she can. The little crocodile followed her down. She thought she was going to hurt herself. Instead, the little crocodile showed off his cooking skills. He sang as he cooked. Lisa didn't know what he was up to. She was very scared, but she was soon impressed by the crocodile's cuteness. Lisa hadn't been so happy for a long time. Guided by the little crocodile, they worked so well together, and they managed to make a big cake. As soon as her son Tom pushed the door open, he was amazed by what he saw. He had no idea that his mother had taken in the little crocodile. The little crocodile. His name is Roy. Tom had found it in the attic. Tom mistook it for a taxidermy at first. Until one night he noticed a noise in the attic. He went upstairs to see. He found the crocodile was alive. Tom fell to the ground in shock, and the cat exploded. He lunged at him with a vengeance. Roy knew he was in trouble, so he ran away immediately. Tom was right on his heels, but he couldn't keep up with him. He was terrified. He took the path to escape, and when Tom was about to catch up, he swishes into the sewer. By the time Tom comes after him, he was already in the alleyway. The alleyway is dark. Tom had to take out his mobile phone to shine. Suddenly a homeless man came up to him and tried to grab his phone. Tom was scared and backed up, and that's when Roy appeared out of nowhere. Looking at the huge thing in front of him, both of them were terrified, but to their surprise. The homeless man was scared away. Tom was pleasantly surprised. Then Roy spat out the cat again. He was a bit ashamed. He hadn't meant to hurt anyone, but it was a farce. The cat was back. Tom was overjoyed. He knew Roy was the best, so he invited him home with him. From then on, a new world opened up for Tom. Not only could Roy sing, and he took Tom through the trash with him. Tom was having a great time, but to his surprise, Mom found out about him. At first, Mom was firmly against Roy staying. Who would have thought we have so much fun together? Crocodiles are so cute. How could it be made into a crocodile skin bag? Jack was terrified when he saw it, but he was ready to wrestle with Jack. His opponent was afraid to take him on, grabbing something and smashing it. When the crocodile wasn't looking, he scurries downstairs in a flash. Jack was just about to open the door to escape when he bumped into the crocodile's owner. When Adam left him, he was just a little cutie. Now he's grown into a big powerful crocodile monster. He's become attached to the tenant. He was a stranger to Adam. But as soon as Adam clapped his hands, the familiarity returns. Adam saw that he was responding, so he continued to dance. Roy heard the sound, remembering the days when they performed together on stage. He rushed straight down the stairs. For Adam's sake, Roy was temporarily housed. He and Adam were high every night, singing and playing discs, having a great time. But the people living downstairs are having a hard time. It's like someone's bouncing a disco overhead, but Adam still plays as much as he likes. And this time he took Tom and Lisa with him. They took to the streets with impunity. The passersby looked at Roy in disbelief, but they didn't care about the stairs. Not only did they take Roy to a restaurant for dinner, they even took him in a taxi when the dog saw him. He started to provoke him, but as soon as Roy opened his mouth, the dog hid back in the car. They went to many places. Roy didn't know anything about human entertainment, but he was still happy. Now only Jack doesn't like him yet, but that's easy for Roy. He knows that Jack likes wrestling, so he became his personal trainer. One, two, three. Jack has finally found his confidence through Roy. It was as if he had returned to the top of his game 20 years ago, and that's when Roy conquered everyone. They often met at home, but the tenant downstairs was out of luck. He couldn't stand it any longer. He called a meeting with his neighbors. He wanted to get everyone together to tell them off for being a nuisance, but he was severely reprimanded by Adam. He said he was breaking the law by installing cameras. He broke up the meeting in fear. Roy escaped with his life. Lisa thought she was safe, but the people downstairs called the police straight away. Tom rushed to take Roy into hiding. He looked out the window warily. That's when he heard Roy scream, looking at a room full of strangers, frightened. The crocodile clutches itself with its tail. In the end, the crocodile couldn't escape being taken away. The family looked on with sadness as they watched the police car go. Tom picked up Roy, the crocodile's red scarf, and cried sadly. At this point, the neighbors were still laughing at them. Roy was taken to the zoo. Here he had his own kind. Everyone said he should belong here. Only Tom understood that Roy was not like the other crocodiles. Not only because Roy could sing, but also because he was his best friend. Without Roy, Tom's life was a bleak one, and Roy was just as lonely in the zoo. And that's when Tom met Adam again. Adam said that tomorrow morning at 4 o'clock, he would rescue Roy. Tom was half convinced, but he couldn't resist going to the zoo. First Adam tricked the security guard with a magic trick. He managed to sneak into the zoo. Then he found out where Roy lived. Meanwhile, 
He met Tom, but he didn't expect Roy wouldn't go with him. When Adam bought him, it was because it could sing. Adam wanted to use it to make money, but Roy wouldn't talk once he was on stage. Adam had to leave him to find another way out. And now, seeing Roy locked up here, Adam blames himself. He kept apologizing to Roy. He didn't back down even when the other crocodiles were staring at him. This time he didn't want to take Roy away, but he wanted him to be happy with Tom. Looking at Tom's sincere eyes, Roy finally agreed. But as soon as they escaped, they ran into the park rangers. They had weapons in their hands, and they looked fierce. But Adam was a magician. He did a little trick. He managed to help Tom and Roy get away, but he was unfortunately caught. The police were in hot pursuit. Tom tried to get away from them. He was encouraged by Roy to drive without a license. They drove right through the streets, then straight to the theater. They actually made it to the singing competition. Tom wanted everyone to hear Roy's beautiful voice, so he mustered up the courage to take him on stage. But he was still scared. Tom had to sing by himself. Listening to Tom's incoherent singing voice, Roy finally couldn't help himself. A Look at us now, take a look at us now. Crocodile sings, and everyone was amazed. Roy's song went viral. He became a top singer. And Lisa through legal means, and Lisa managed to keep Roy. This heartwarming and joyful family film, it's both heartwarming and touching. Who wouldn't want to have a Roy the Crocodile?